The great AI boom continues at full force, with organizations racing to integrate LLMs into every aspect of their operations. But as the initial excitement matures, businesses are discovering that unchecked AI usage comes with substantial costs. Token-based pricing can quickly spiral from hundreds to tens of thousands of dollars monthly. And then we have the issue of latency. The focus is shifting from can we use AI to how can we use AI efficiently and sustainably. This is where smart optimization strategies become critical and data serialization formats play a surprisingly important role in controlling both costs and performance. In this video, we are going to cover such tool which is Tron or Token Reduced Object Notation. It is a data serialization format that extends JSON to be more compact and token efficient. Let me quickly show you an example. So this is the playground and you see that on the very left hand side, we have this JSON format which is consuming close to 7000 tokens. Then in the second column, we have the prettified JSON, which is consuming over 11,000 tokens for the same JSON. And then we have Tron, which has reduced the number of tokens by around 16% and it is less than 6,000. And then this is another library, which has emerged recently tuned, which is consuming slightly over 7,000, way above Tron but still less than the normal JSON. And by the way, we have covered Tune with Olama already. If you're interested, just go to the channel and search it out. In this video, we are going to see and install this Tron with Olama based local models, but you can use it with any model because it is model agnostic and primary focus of these sort of libraries is with API based models. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Please also follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any fluff and hype. So let's get started and also I want to uh, just spend a few minutes, a couple of minutes on this Tron. So this is a data serialization format that extends JSON. It eliminates repetitive property names by allowing you to define classes as you can see in this example. So this is a JSON, the full one. And then you see at the top level we have index. Then this is our items. And then this is where we have total. So we have just called it in a class. Then this is a product class within that and from their order and the list goes on and on and on. So what, what is happening here is it is just eliminating repetitive property names by allowing you to define classes or schemas once then instantiate objects, objects with just values. So this is the whole idea behind it. I will be talking more around it, but for now let's get it installed. So I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card and VDR RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and I already have Olama installed. If you don't know what Olama is, just go to my channel and search and you should be able to find plenty of videos. It's very lightweight. I'm just going to go with GPT OSS model for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, so let's install this thing. The only prerequisite in order to install this, this NPM, I already have it installed. And then you just have to install this library of Tron with NPM and that is all done. So let me now quickly show you the code. So this is a node script, which I'm going to use. All this script is doing, it is importing that library, which we have just installed. It is showing the original JSON and then it shows the Tron format, which is more compact. We are using this sample data, which I am just putting it around machine learning. Then we are sending the query to the Olama instance just down below. And once that's 
done we passed on back to json to verify the integrity this is all what is there to it so let's go back to my terminal and run this first i'm just going to initialize that npm init in the root of that repo and now we have uh, our project file plus our configuration and package dot json and now we can install all the dependencies if there are any this should be very quick okay so i just need to um, fix my package.json to make sure that your package.json looks like this with the version number and all the dependencies let's go back and run this again and this time it works fine and this is a bleeding edge so you have to tinker with these version and stuff this is expected and now let's run that script so i'm just going to say node app.js and this is our original json as you can see these are the total tokens this is a tron format it has converted very nicely into tron and then this is the olama response and there you go now if you look at this response um, the good thing is that the tron representation is working perfectly so it has reduced the, not only it has reduced the number of property names it has by removing all the repetitive stuff you see that it is quite efficient too so another interesting bit i have seen is that when you look at the olama based one so this is a comparison so there are a lot of savings but it has also even the outer objects if you want to you can even change them too because most of this tooling this returns json response so this is just something i th think could be an added benefit now if you really think about it and scale it in real world scenarios with larger data sets let's say 100 messages would save around 500 tokens thousand five thousand tokens and let's suppose you are paying three cents per 1000 token which is i think gpt4 pricing processing 1 million messages monthly would save around 150 us dollar per month so i think this matters because the value proposition of tools like tron and tone and few others which are appearing uh, all over the place all free by the way is that it is not only it not only makes a payload smaller llms can read it efficiently because at the end of the day it is a super set of json so production use with hundreds of messages in conversation history i think the token reduction always helps so i'm very happy to see all of these tools popping up if you are using any such tool in production please let me know um, if how many tokens are you saving or if you are facing any issues because the real test comes when we actually implement it in real projects in production that's it let me know please what do you think and like the video subscribe that helps a lot and if you want to help more Please become a member and follow me on X as that helps. Thank you for all the support.